Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 5 of No Guns Life. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. Fucking finally. Uh. Go play. Go. So extend my decision or something. <laughs> you don't need to scare them. <laughs> Where are you going now? Yeah, but Tatsuro, you go out there by yourself. You are literally going to get yourself killed, and you're going to have no one to blame but yourself. <laughs> huh? 
my, my thing is, how the heck does he eat? I mean, he got a mouse. <laughs> Let Mary go. Uh. <sighs> mm, told you. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god, just take it. Yeah, hard-headed. That's it. Or hard-headed. Oh, it's that girl. No, you perverted cops. So save the fuck off her. Kind of calms me, you know, in a weird way. And I know how the <laughs> some white people feel.
<laughs> so cute, oh my god. The one of the blue lipstick. <laughs> you may not want to go in there. Yeah, just close the door. I mean, a lot could happen in three minutes. Damn, I'll even took Christina. <laughs> uh, Tessero, don't do anything stupid. You're gonna get yourself killed. Exactly. So just be smart, stay there, and wait for a good opportunity. I don't know how people can be like fascinated with the smell of oil and gasoline like oh, sorry
across the fucking island in the middle of nowhere. Okay, did anybody escape from it? Oh, Christ. So basically, you just want to go, want him to go in and just do everything else. Yeah. So in a way. You have to do it since she can't. So you just think the other two. Yeah. The fuck was that? He about to straight up kill y'all. You idiots. Um. Oh shit, Scarlet. He gonna find a way out of it. I mean, come on. See? He main character. Son doesn't use a cop too. Because that's the immediately I was thinking he works for EMS, but he just seems like a regular old cop. Yeah, so why the hell are you coming in right now?
Yeah, so he's fine. Okay, because it seems like Hayden is going to be possibly the hardest like, prisoner to catch. So clearly, yes, you're going to need some help from Juzo. Not sitting here and saying, oh, hey, you know, we can just sit here and do it by ourselves. We don't need your help. No, nah, bro. Like, it, it's not that bad to have help. I mean, Jesus Christ. But I get to the fact that he doesn't want someone as an extent like Juzo to help him. Maybe he feels some type of way. Which clearly he does. I mean, but he little bitch. I'm just saying. Okay, Olivier, I do like her a lot. She's very interesting, but she's still like it's only episode five, and I feel like I, I just I know like this much about her, and there's a lot of history between her, the um, chief, and then a little bit of Jesus. So I think what they should do in the next episode is go into a flashback moment really between Olivier and Juzo, because I want to know about their age. Because they, I mean, anyway, yes, they have a little bit of sexual tension between them. You can tell. But, I mean, Juzo doesn't really maybe see her like that, possibly. But with her, I mean, yeah, because you can see she's clearly attracted to him. I think almost like every woman except Mary is attracted to him. Mary is just like, mm, she don't give a shit. Scarlet, like, you can tell. Because she is so freaking cute with it, like, oh my god. <sighs> okay, as I was saying, Scarlet was just so cute. I mean, even with the fact that he had to save her, like, oh my god, she's so adorable. But, okay, bruh, like, what is <laughs> I feel bad for Tetsuro, like, literally looking at the crab and immediately, um, remembering What's Your Face from last week's episode and, like, saying, oh, yeah, I killed someone technically last week and stuff, you know. I mean, he's gonna have, like, the, mm, yeah, in a way, PTSD from it and he's gonna have to learn to move on from it. Just like anyone else when they make their first kills in animes or movies or games or whatever because... That first kill will always be known in the back of their mind for, like, maybe till the day they die. They'll always be known or really remembered as, in their mind, I killed someone for the first time. And, yes, it's terrifying, but sometimes you have to do it either in self- Well, in self-defense, in a way. And they were doing- He was doing it in self-defense. She was coming and attacking them last week. They, you know- those two, plus the guy who was all of, also in the elevator with them, could have died. So, you know, it's a per you know, in their life right now, it's good that they're still alive. But, like, bruh, I, I, I literally have no freaking clue what that could happen next week. But since they, there's only one prisoner left, and he seems like the hardest to catch, like, yeah. Like I said, you're going to need some help. Just let him freaking help you. I understand that, you know certain cops and everything feel a certain type of way towards other people helping them but it's just to better themselves and there's nothing wrong with having extra people help you out I, but i get it with the fact is that yes he's an extent literally nobody trusts extends in this world and they're more illegal and such even though juzo you know he has his rights but they still treat him like shit which is still like it, it's fucked up because it reminds me of um a movie that I saw maybe about like four or five years ago. I Detroit. I think the name I think the name of the movie is Detroit. I think so. I because it's been a while since I've seen the film. Um but it has certain things in there that really are similar in this anime. And so it, it's just a it, it's fucked up because he's such an interesting character and I understand that yeah sometimes you know when you only had two left now you only have one and you still have to have help and there's always assholes who are like mm don't really want your help, don't need your help, just stay the fuck over there with your friends and your family and do whatever the fuck that you were normally doing. But, 
you know, maybe helping him could solve like another step for Tetsuro and eventually getting to where, you know, his mom is. Because I still want to know a lot about Tetsuro. I feel like, you know, we're still at the beginning, so I barely really know anything about him. Because I'm not going to say all of these characters, but most of these characters just feel one-dimensional only because of the fact is it is episode five and we really don't know that much about these characters. So I feel like six to maybe episode 12, that's eventually when we're going to get the backstory on these characters. And then from 13 to the end of the series, maybe they'll go a little bit more into the backstory of them and then connections and how they all weave together. Because since right now, like, looking at the connections between people and how they all like their relationship it is still interesting but it's like okay with him and olivia you want to know that ish with um you kind of really know about mary you kind of know about christina and now scarlet and her dad and then essentially anybody else who meet later on in this series what is their connection to him and what is their backstory for Jujo? i'm just saying that's just my opinion but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode five of no guns life if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 6. Bye, guys.